How's it going there, YouTube? Well, hadn't had a video in quite some time. Uh, still kind of getting over cold here a little bit, but feeling a lot better now. Uh, <laughs> we were on quite the tractor adventure this morning. Myself and Ontario been a tractor here on YouTube. Make sure you go over and check him out. I just got to say, he was a tremendous help up here today. We actually took his trailer to go pick this tractor up today because I do not have a winch on my trailer just yet. And I did not want to do what we did today with a come along. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys what we picked up just yet. Uh, they kind of hint at this in the live stream that uh, I picked something up. I have not got it home just yet. It's here in the shot now, as you guys can see behind me. Oh, my 1828's in here backwards because you guys know me. I like to back my tractors in the shop instead of drive them in. Uh, it did take quite a bit of effort to get this in this shop because, of course, it does not run. Uh, it's big and heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. So we had the 1828 pulling and the uh, Denali pushing. So with a little bit of grunt work, we got her in the shop. But anyway, I might as well just flip this phone around and show you guys uh, what I got this time. Well, if any of you guys know me well enough, then Oliver 99 is the top of my bucket list for farm tractors. My absolute favorite tractor ever built. Uh, I was offered this by uh, Dan Mannon. Uh, it wasn't too far away, about an hour and a half from home here, maybe close to two hours, but we have a 99 to work on now. So I've kind of been uh, playing the joke that I got so interested in thrashing and plowing there this year, I needed a bigger tractor for next year to play with. <laughs> anyway, uh, here it is. I think it's a 1939 or a 1940 model, one of the earlier ones. It does have the 30-inch centers on it, though. Uh, it does have all the tin work. This side screen is not in too bad of shape. This one's a little bit bent up. Uh, of course, you got a flat tire on it. I mean, you can't buy a tractor with inflated tires on it. That's, what's the fun in that, right? <laughs> this was almost on the rim this morning. That tire is junk. It's got a big slice in the sidewall. Now, it does not run. I'm pretty sure you guys get that idea. I do got a big pile of parts here, not just this tote here. Uh, I do got to put a head gasket in it. I do got to put the head back together, and I do have a valve coming from one of my fellow YouTube subscribers out there. You know who you are. Um, I do need an exhaust valve for the head here. It, I'm not sure if it was seized or if it came down and hit the piston yet. I don't think it did, though. I did not look in the side screens when I picked this up. But I have a big pile of parts here. And my bench is full of 99 parts now instead of 80 parts. And all the 80 parts found themselves over there on the shelf <laughs> but uh, i've been kind of looking over it and i mean the manifold looks okay i just kind of got concerned about something down here but i think we'll be all right uh this head off this is this head's extremely heavy this weighs about 150 pounds so i got the water manifold the grill screen uh what's left of a toolbox uh all the small parts in here the push rods the rock shaft uh the, what's left of a battery tree but it's not in too bad a shape. I mean, it is pretty rough, but uh, rough to the, someone that's not used to doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, basically the same as the 80 was when it first came home. It's just a fresh project. This has to get dealt with though. This is common on these where the battery sits, of course, and they get very corroded. So either I can make a new floor pan for this or weld a patch in that. So. Is basically just a big 80 very much bigger about 1500 pounds worth of bigger now the fenders aren't too too beat up on it. i mean a little rot hole there to weld up and need some straighten it out but they're not in too bad a shape i mean you can weld this up a little better and have something to play with anyway <laughs> i have not opened the side screen yet the, the, the engine is covered the block's covered i have not checked if it's seized just yet We have a definite big project here now. Now the 80, haven't really done much with it. I started wire wheeling the front cover, the water pump and all that. I think I covered that in the live stream. Uh, the fella I picked the 99 up from does have a set of back tires for it. I will need to pick up a front tire and a tube. I'll probably do that at a later date. Now I'm kind of at a crossroads. I don't know if I want to get the 80 finished up and painted first, or if I want to get this 99 running now, because well, the 99 is kind of, like I said, one of my personal favorites. 80s and 1820s too, but I've always had a real soft spot for the 99s. 
but it's still pretty neat how it's got the original decals on it still and someone has done some fancy pinstriping here on the fenders so that's kind of cool i guess um i have not checked the water pump on it or anything like that i guess just this just got off the trailer in the shop by like 2 30 this afternoon so <laughs> uh we didn't road we didn't record any of our road trip or anything like that but we'll get ovt on some videos here in the near future but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little show of the new project here of course uh we're filling up the shop pretty good but there's still one more spot here left anyway i'm gonna go and help the wife with a few things before i get in trouble here and uh we'll see you guys on the next video so if you like what you see as always please comment rate, subscribe thanks for watching